everyone it's time for another juno album review this time it is for feel and this was great i love it i love the energy um i love the vibe of the album i feel like this was the biggest surprise so far um i feel like what is happening now with his music is he's definitely um broadening his options when it comes to song choices and um influences for his music and i'm all here for that you know um so far the japanese album have been hitting harder than the korean one um i don't know why but it's like whatever type of energy vibe is giving you with the korean releases when it comes to the japanese one he just steps up a notch when it comes to the quality of the music and not even that the other albums are bad or anything like that it's just that he gives a different type of energy when it comes to his japanese releases so far anyway you know he has a out of all the members i think he has the one he has the discography that is you know um the biggest but um so far i'm really impressed especially with his japanese um discography it's been on point it's been very good and just filled with surprises he always has this one song that i never see coming and i just leave for those moments because i don't like predictable artists i don't like I don't like the fact that I can listen to you and see that you have a, a project coming or a new project and know exactly what this is going to sound like. This is not exciting at all. But what I love about Juno so far is how he's been able to surprise me along the way while kind of giving me a sound that I'm, I'm starting to recognize as is. You know, he's keeping the essence of is sound of who he is musically but he's definitely stepping out there you know and trying different things and what i also love with the music so far is the the change has been um you know something that has been done slowly so you don't even realize that we've gone through so much transformation up until you listen to a song from this album for example and compare it to two albums ago what his music sounded like and that's because the transition between his eras are always very very smooth now um i did had have songs on here that took me a while to get into that is akai akanaide no 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 next to you you and me those three songs um were not my cup of tea at first but now i think i'm definitely um feeling better about them they're still not songs that i listen to on the regular but i no longer feel like oh i may skip this song on the project now when it comes to my personal favorites there are two of them number two is Zuto. Do it, don't すれ違うよ急接近君との距離視線と疲れ息が止まりそう何も言えず立ち尽くしてる言葉にできないよ何もかもがまぶしすぎて臆病になるのさ姿見るだけで溢れる
forget about your face I wanna be your boyfriend Anything you want thing Lady you can have it Like I said the baby I'm rolling in the deep inside of you Just the soap I need so Just the side of thank you 次に会える時は思い切って気持ち伝えたい全部打ち明けよう無邪気な笑顔も surprising things on the album i did not see the rapping coming the first time i listened to the song i was like i was confused because you know you can see the credits and there was no feature so i'm like oh who is rapping and i was like oh it's him oh this immediately put the song in a whole new league for me like how do you manage to make a song like this one and sound like there's a different person on it with you but it's just you and that's talent for you now number one is can't let you go どんなに季節が色を変えても消えることのない君だけの場所時間はいつも悲しみを癒すけど心は置き去りのままさよならきっと僕は生まれ変わる新しい誰かと愛を見つけるだろう孤独の中でずっと抱きしめているのさ君の抜け殻を開け
った日々この街のどこかに今日も探している君の面影を I can't let you go let you go 愛とはこんなに虚しいものか全てを捧げた君だけに思い出にするのが怖くて今はここから動けないさよならどうか僕を忘れないで新しい誰かを愛する日が来ても記憶の中でずっと生きていくのだろう君の幻と Can't let you go Let you go A guitar goes a long way in a song like this. You know,、um, I love an artist that is able to strip everything down and give you something that feels raw and honest and vulnerable. And that's definitely what this song is. And the guitar is just helping with the emotional pull of the song. This felt so good. It definitely sounds like it comes from the heart. And oh, I love when artists g e t down to it and just give you something that feels like you are just in their living room listening to them, away from all the other stuff, heavy production, crazy、um, MV, and all that. No, this is just them. With a guitar or the piano or whatever instrument and their voice. And the focus is really on the emotions and on, the, on, the, their, on their voices. And I really like it. So、um, for me, that's the start of the album. It's beautiful. It's just so good. And I love how it definitely just speaks to you. Now, let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up your favorite. If you want more, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel.